Hello, hello, hello. Hi, guys. I hope you're having a really great day. I've been having a good day. It's been going well. A little chilly, but you know, that's to be expected. It's that time of year. So, um, let's begin our normal chit chat we're doing. Um, this is Light Over Darkness 33. And I'm going to talk to you from my heart today. And what's been on my heart is to tell you that I am God's daughter. And I hope you have come to the realization of who you are. It took me a while to figure out exactly what that meant. A lot of people say, you know, I'm a child of the king and things like that. But they really don't know what that means. There's a lot of work entailed in that. There's a lot of gifts entailed in that. Me being God's daughter means to me that when I call upon God, he answers me. He walks with me. He talks with me. And he tells me special things that probably other people don't know about or don't can't hear about and my relationship with him be began as I told you before when I was nine years old when I was nine years old um, things started clicking for me my childhood was that you know I stayed with my godmother and she pampered me and spoiled me. And then I moved in with my mom and my father, my stepfather, who's my dad. <laughs> and in doing so, um, I developed a relationship with God. And it wasn't even church-based. It was just, just I had a feeling that, you know, there was greater greater than me, greater than you. And so I started imagining myself in his kingdom. And I would talk to God, you know, I would I would look at the clouds and see signs of God because I asked him for a sign. I'd say, God, I don't have any brothers and sisters. And I really don't know too much about my cousins. I don't have a lot of friends. I don't have anybody but you. And I need you to let me know that you exist. And he did. He started speaking to me. And it wasn't a loud, boom, booming voice. It was a soft voice to let me know he loved me. And he always told me that. I love you. No matter who doesn't love you, no matter what happens to you in your life, I love you. And I'm going to take care of you. I want the best for you. I'm going to give you the best. And God has always done that for me. Even in my lowest of low, he's given me the best. Even when I thought I couldn't make it, he gave me the best. When I was going to school, I always knew I wanted to be something great. I thought I was going to be a playwright. I thought I was going to be someone who's going to be in Hollywood because of my writing skills. And I had such an imagination that I wanted to write plays. But God had a greatest, greater thing for me to do. And that thing was for to serve his people and serve I did. So in doing that, that drew me closer to God. So when I drew closer to God, he drew closer to me. I would think about money and money would come. It was like he could read my thoughts because he could. I didn't know that he could read my thoughts, but he could. And he would read my thoughts and things would materialize. That's why I can personally tell you manifestation works. If you would talk to God for yourself, P, 
pe older people back in the day used to say that. You have to go to God for yourself. And it's true. You have to find out who God is for yourself. He's in you. He's not a pie in the sky. He's not someone that's untouchable. God is inside of you. He talks to you through your emotions. He talks to you through your mind. He talks to you through your heart. And I'm a witness that if you will just relax yourself and meditate and think on those things as though they were, they will be in your life. Your life will be better than it ever has. Your life will be something that you never thought it could be. If you would think on those things as though they were. And if you would just allow God to come into your life. And I'm not just talking about being saved. I mean come into your life and, and tell you what to do each step of the way. Listen to him. Give him your hand as his child. Allow him to walk with you. Allow him to talk with you. Allow him to be a part of your life. Because he is your life. He gave you life. He gave you breath. He gave you your body. He gave you your mind. He gave you your soul. Everything that you are, he is. So why can't you say, God, in your mind, think, I want a million dollars. A million dollars isn't that much these days. And anyway, God created money, but just not in the form it's in now. Used to be in gold, used to be in land. There's a lot of forms, ways that money can show up in your life. Don't always think it's it's a um a bill, a dollar bill, or a million dollar bill or the lottery. You never know how God's going to bless you. God can put in somebody else's minds, hey, this person needs your help. Go help them to be their greater good. Go help them to be what I want them to be in their life. I put them down here to do this job, and I want you to help them fulfill it. You're not down here just just to work. You're not down here just to have a job and to serve somebody else. That's why it's in the Bible, although I know that people have changed the Bible through the years, and that's debatable, but I believe it's so. But it's in there that, you know, not serve no man. So if you're serving no man, that means you're serving God, the God that's within you. So if God is within you, God is working within you. God is talking within you. God's creating within you. Use that creative space that God has put in you to become your greatest, to become the best you can ever be. You can do that. You can do whatever God wants you to do. You can be do whatever you have in your mindset to do. Let your spirit be the vehicle that strengthens your body. Let your spirit be the vehicle that opens your mouth to speak what he wants you to speak, to, to go where he wants you to go. Anything he wants you to do, you can do. And you know, when you hear people say, hmm, something told me to do that. God told you to do it, but you were hard-headed and you didn't do it, did you? Stop being hard-headed. Stop being something other than what God wants you to be. Be God's child. You're a child of a king. And your father is not a pauper. Your father is not of slaves. Your father is not a person who cannot talk to you. He's, you're not a bastard child. You have a father. And he loves you very much. And I want you to get this manifestation stuff because it works. It's just not a fad. We've been talking about it for years. We've been talking about it for years. We call them blessings. I'm blessed. How are you doing today? I'm blessed. You're blessed, but you're not manifesting anything. What are you manifesting? What are you doing in life? What have you created? What are you doing? Nothing.
I dare you, I dog double dare you to try this manifestation. Keep your mind on things that are positive. Keep your mind on upbeat things. Be optimistic. Open your mind to ideas you never thought you could have. Open your mind to be better than you ever could. Let nobody tell you you can't. You can do all things through God that's within you. Within you. Within you. God's in you. He's your creator. He's the universe within you. If he's a creator, so are you. Create. Stop being lazy. You're going around here looking for little penny ante jobs. You are a job. Hmm. You are a company. You are a conglomerate. You are everything that you think you can be. Find out who you are. Do you know who you are? And if you're confused about it, I double dare you to ask God. He'll show you and put you in the right spot where you can be a greater you. What is my greater you, Light Over Darkness 33? Your greater you, you haven't even met yet. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard the greatest that's in within you. You are king. You're a queen. You are a conglomerate. You are multimillionaires. You are billionaires. You are trillionaires. You created this land. You created everything that's here. These buildings. The bridges. Electricity. Water. To flow into homes. Cultivated food. For consum consumption. Networks. Computers. Televisions. Radios. We are creators. Be who you are and stop trying to be what you're trying. What somebody else wants you to be. You can do it. There's nothing that you cannot do. So I want you to open up your hands and say this with me. God within, I am sorry that I have not allowed myself to be the best that I can be. Please forgive me for thinking little of the me you created. Allow my mind, my body, and my soul to come in line with you and your thoughts and your desires and your wishes for me. Let me be the best I can be. Put me where I need to be. Bless me from the head of my, on my head to my feet. Let nothing stop me. Let nothing prevent me from going where I need to go. Let nothing stop Stop my children and my children's children. You promised that you would take care of us. I surrender to you, God. I will do what you asked me to do so that I can be my better you. Not so that I can be a slave under you, but so that I can be one with you as you created me to be. So I can show the world Men, women, boys, and girls, what a real creator looks like. God, open up my eyes so that I may be able to see spiritually. Open up my ears so I may be able to hear your word. Open up my spirit so that I may be able to work miracles for me and for the others. Let me shine as a light in this world. Let me help somebody so that they can help somebody. Help me to teach people who do not understand what this is all about. Help me to manifest my best desires. I don't belong in a small 
environment. I thrive in wealth. I excel in wealth. I am wealth. I am happiness. I am joy. I am healed. I am a child of God. And being a child of God, I am spoiled and I can have anything I desire and want from my father. Because my father is rich. And if my father's rich, therefore I am. I am that I am. And I shall always be that I am. And nothing and no one shall ever stop me. Not light, not darkness, not evil people. Not evil words. I will shine above. I will be. I will be. What you desire to me. To be. I will. Survive. In this dark world. By lighting it up. Light up the world. Light up the world. That's what I want you to do. Light up the world. Let your name be household name. I want you to think about who you really are and walk within those shoes. Put your big girl shoes on. Put your big boy shoes on and be the men and women that you really are. Let nobody stop you. Let nobody stop you. You don't have to cry anymore. You don't have to be sad anymore. Let those things that be not be as though they were. Let your life be a life others dream of. Desire it to be. People who succumb to other people and do what they want them to do are not the only people who can benefit in this world. We don't have to bow down and do what other people want us to do to have what we want. We can have our many mansions, our mansions. We can have our beautiful cones. I don't want to ride in a little car. I want to ride in a big, fine car. I am of the Reverend Ike, shout out to Reverend Ike's son, mindset. I am, I grew up in that era, and I believe I can have anything I say. I believe that I can be the best I can be. And I want you to do that too. I would suggest to you, go back and start listening to Reverend I. He's on YouTube too. Listen at what that man used to say. Listen at it. Even if you say, oh, it's just, it's just materialistic. That's what you're in, a materialistic world. You don't want to hear the pastor talking about money. Well, guess what? We all need money in this world. We all need it. We all got to live. Why not live well? I'm not saying do it at the expenses of others. I don't agree with that. But I agree with everybody prospering. And how much you prosper depends on how much your faith is. That is the key to manifestation. A lot of people are talking about manifestation, but they're not saying nothing about faith. What is faith? Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. Hoped. I hope to be rich. I hope to be a trillionaire. I hope to be a millionaire. I hope to be a billionaire. I hope. To be happy in love. I hope to have healthy children. I hope to own billions. 
businesses, conglomerates, enterprises. I hope. Now faith. Not yesterday's faith. Not tomorrow's faith. But today's faith. Live in the moment. Stop worrying about how things are going to be. Stop worrying about how things used to be. Stop worrying about who said what to you, who did what to you. Forget them. Be selfish with your love for God. Be selfish with your faith. Because this is an individual walk so that you can help others. It's an individual walk. It's up to you. Can't nobody else increase your faith but you. Can't nobody else make you be anything greater but you. You're the one that's stopping you from doing it. You know you don't belong in that situation. Get up like the prodigal son did. Get up and go home to your father, which is in your heart. Go home to your father so he can, he can bring out the best food. Bring out the best wine. Set up a party. My child is home. My child is home. My child believes in me. My child knows that I can give him and her anything that they desire. That's the God I serve. Who are you serving? A God that worries? If you're serving a God that worries, then you don't need to serve him because you're already worrying anyway. What you worrying for? Whatever's going to happen, baby, is going to happen. But it will only happen if you believe it happened. Think about that. If you believe you're going to be homeless, then guess what? If you believe that you're going to be famous, then guess what? If you believe that you have an instrument that nobody else can play like that instrument, guess what? You'll get your notoriety. But do you? would you rather have the notoriety of men and women or God's notoriety? Just think about it. How proud are you when your children do things? When they do things and it makes you proud. They graduate. Makes you proud. When they... When they are on stage and they're singing their hearts out or they're playing an instrument or they're acting or they become an engineer, a doctor, a lawyer. You're proud. What do you think God thinks about us when we do the very best that he's given us? He's given us gifts. He has put something in each one of us that we're supposed to use so that our lives can be the very best. Find your gift. I have found mine again because I had lost it. I started thinking about work, work, work. I got to work. I got to find a job. I got to find this. Worried myself into a stroke. I did. And it happened while I was sleeping. That's how deep it was. See, the enemy knew he couldn't get me when I was awake. Because I had come up out of that stupor of being sad and depressed for myself. But if I'm asleep, I can't do it, right? That's how the enemy does. He attacks you while you're sleeping, while you're off guard. But I have a God who said, you may have attacked her, but you didn't kill her. She's still here. She maybe can't do those things that she used to do to make money. But guess what? I'll give her something else to do. I'll give her a real gift. I'll open her mouth and let her mouth be heard. So as long as God can speak to me, I'll speak to you. And honey, that'll be forever. I believe in the light of God. 
I believe that I'm a light over darkness in this world. And you can be too. This video is to encourage you and inspire you to your greater you. Find that person inside of you. Stop worrying about other people. Stop worrying about a husband, a wife. The husband God has for you will come to you when you're ready. You have to be ready. You have to be in your spot. But if you're not in your spot and you're not, you don't have your light trimmed, have your things together and have found yourself, your God-given self, then guess what? That God-given husband ain't found you yet. That God-given wife ain't found you yet because you don't know who you are. Then you end up being with people who don't know who they are. And both of y'all lost, blind, crazy. Don't be crazy and blind and lost. Find yourself. Love yourself. Love the God that's within you. Greater is he that is in the world. Us. We're in the world. Greater. We are the sons and daughters of creators. God is looking down on us right now. He's happy because those of us that are coming on YouTube and, and inspiring, inspiring you to be greater, inspiring you to learn metaphysics, to learn about smudging, to learn about fighting demons, to learn about increasing your faith, manifestation, Learn about spiritual warfare and spiritual gifts. There's a lot to be done. I learned about those things when I was very young. I sure did. One time I remember, I'm going to say this and I'm going to let y'all go. One time I remember I was having a spiritual warfare because I was in a relationship with a prophet. And in this relationship, it was always turmoil. Because he had a demon within him. And that demon is fierce in this world today. That demon is... Um, a sexual demon where, you know, gotta have, gotta have this, gotta have it, gotta have it, gotta have it. And it wasn't just one person. This person was seeking anybody. Just, just add it, just add it. Now, I asked God, I said, God, let me know. Let me know. If this person is cheating on me, if he's faithful, and if he's really a man of God. God put me in a deep sleep. And in that sleep, I saw him. And he turned into this demon. And the sleep was so deep, I couldn't even move. And... The demon came in the room, and a demon tried to lay on me, and I couldn't say a word, but I could think it. That's why I'm telling you, thoughts to things. Your mind is the key. In my mind, I was saying the blood of Jesus, and I was saying, you must get off of me. I am God's daughter. I am a great woman of God. I am a true woman of God. You are not 
do this to me, you demon. You will not have me. You can't have me. You can't have me. And I was saying it, and I was saying, God, God help me. God help me. And finally, I felt that thing get up, that spirit get up off me. That next morning, my son, he said, he's a little bitty boy. He said, Mommy, did you see the dragon go down the hallway? Hand of God. And I said, yeah, baby, I saw him. I said, he got out of here, didn't he? He said, yeah, mommy, he hurry up and got out of here. That lets you know children can be a witness to the works of God. And I told you, at nine years old, God worked with me. My son, he was a little about about that age. He saw it. And guess what? That pastor was cheating on me. I got up one night. God told me to go somewhere. And I went. And there he was. And it was over. There was nothing else to be done. So don't always think, oh, I'm going to be a pastor's daughter. I'm going to be a bishop's daughter and a, 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 a wife and girlfriend and all this. It's nice to be among the saints and to be all of that. But there's a lot that comes with it. There's a lot of turmoil that comes with it. It's a lot of stress. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of loneliness. It's a lot of patience. It's a lot of everything. <laughs> That's why I tell you, be you. Be yourself. Find yourself. So I hope I've helped you. I've hoped I've said something that can motivate you and to let you know how to manifest. I'm going to end this video with meditation and prayer. So as I've told you before, we're going to meditate. I'm going to hold in my beads. We're going to meditate in, we're going to, we're going to, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. We're going to breathe. <laughs> we're going to breathe in through our nose. And we're going to breathe out through our mouth. Let's do this to the count of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay? Hold it. Breathe out. Seven. And we're going to do this three times. I heard three. I desire that everything you desire God to do for you comes to fruition. Or may all of your dreams and your wishes come forth in your life. May they bloom like flowers, beautiful flowers in your life. May your life be so great that you touch others and it causes a chain reaction. May the work God put inside of you come forth and be manifested in your life so you can live 
as the great king and as the great queen that you are. May you live in your mansion. May you live in your great estate. May you drive the finest of cars. May you be blessed beyond blessed. May you hear from God as you never have before. May you see God in your mind's eye. Your mind's eye is your third eye. Let it work for you so you too can see exactly your way out of darkness. May the true you come to fruition. And may it make this land better than it ever has been. May you be everything that the God inside of you created you to be. So that you can also create and continue the cycle of creation. Create, my children. I love you, my angels. I love you with the heart of God. I love you with my mind. I love you with my mouth. I love you with my heart. And I love you with my soul. All four of those things are the way that I manifest this love to you. I want you to know that there's nothing you cannot do. There's nothing you cannot be. There's nothing that you cannot create. You go ahead and enjoy your evening and have a wonderful day. Bye.